Okay, does your knob not turn? We got some garbage bag, garbage, whatever, and some laundry detergent up here, whatever. That's just what's up here. So I have this knob here, and let me get it lined up right here. So it's turn, that's where, I want it to turn here, I like uh, optimum drive. Optimum drive. But anyway, um, so this turns, it doesn't, this is turning freely, but it's not turning this part, which is the actual mechanical part of it. So you can order a new control knob for whatever model dryer that you have. So I'm just telling you my problem. So um, you might have the same one. This is crack. See that crack? I think that hairline crack, and I'm saying think, is uh, it's not. I think it has something to do with this because, um, well, here's a solution. You can use another knob. Just pull right out and put it, and line it up because they're um, they have a certain shape to them. This has a shape, it has a shape, and it'll go on there. But this one, this one's actually cracked too, so it won't. It's got some hairline crack cracks in it. See if I can get them. There it is. But it'll work over here. It'll actually turn the signal. I mean, this. I mean, I go a medium, and then I look at it. Oh, it's actually not. So this one's. Hold on. Yeah. Once they crack, they're not good anymore. But this one. Here, I click. It's working. I never use this. It's always off. So these things are pretty, uh, oh wow, is that one, that one's not, but I've been using a uh, pair of pliers, put on there, and uh, it moves, so you're able to, it's a solution until you get, you know, the right, <clears throat> so that's my solution right now is you figure out because it, one one side is like I don't know it's this is concave or convex or whatever concave, but uh, the flat end on this machine is the pointing the, in the direction of where it is on here. So this is pointing this way, so it's going to be on optimum drive, optimum drive, whatever. That's where I want it, and it'll it'll function normally so far. But uh, so the cracks is what you're looking at. And then just get you a new knob because uh, once these cracks form, um, they don't function right for some reason. Because this one has, this one actually has a little bit of crack developing too. And I don't know if the crack is developing because I'm putting it on here and moving around like that, where it, it's free, it's free spinning on here, on here. So I might see that one does see it's. I might be making a crack on it right now. I don't know, but this one doesn't have a crack, and it it'll move it like that. And I can put over here and see it pointing. This is just just it's a little different. That's pointing up. It should be pointing over here because this is the setting right here. Um, or maybe maybe it is to more dry. So let's move it. Say you can hear it. It's actually moving. They click. That clicking is it. The mechanism actually working, and it's actually it. You can feel it slide. So it's probably messing this one up right now, and it gets stuck on there. I have to use pliers, but yeah, it's developing a crack too. So whenever it starts to move over like that, it'll develop a crack, and it won't work right anymore. So you gotta, so it's still working, good. So I'm gonna leave that one alone, and I'm gonna use a pair of pliers for now. I don't wanna, just, but just, just go on eBay or Amazon and get you some new knobs, and um, that's that. So that's a solution, a problem, a solution, just to let you know how to fix that, and um, just get you a new knob, because uh, there are hairline cracks developing on here, and it's uh, the, uh, messing with the integrity of the strength of this plastic. Believe that? Plastic strength to go on there and grasp it and turn it. So, it could be something else, but I mean, so far, I mean, this, it's still, see, if I put this on here right now, it, it'll be, 
it's facing that way. Let me try to turn it on. No, it's off. See, it's off. So, so uh, what I said earlier. So that's it's facing that way. So, well, I, I turned it a little bit. So let's let's go all the way around to where it's facing where I want it to face, which is uh, right there. Now, there we go. Turned on. So then we got now. I got it. That's how you turn it off. Um, so, and then there's always don't forget to clean out your your linens or whatever. Yuck! It's in there. Crackers. Anyway, old crackers in the trash can. Now I gotta wash my hand. But um, so it's a little dabbling. This is a little filthy up here. A little dabbling with the um, machine here. And uh, this is a a rental unit, so I'll pay the money to get some knobs, it's no big deal. But, um, yeah, that's that. And, uh, so there, so it's pointed, see how it's it's going up there. But I can turn that, it'll just freely turn. And all that's doing is putting more cracks in here. It's really, it's really brittle. It's plastic. And, uh, it's just, um, it's, it's just not made for a very long time to, to, to work for a long time. It's just it's just all plastic. Um it feels hardwired on there. If this part was just extruded out and the whole thing this is bigger, then you wouldn't even need this knob here. Whatever. So um, the engineers that's just what they did. I guess it was cheaper to do it this way. So have a great day. And if, and if you type hot point dryer control knob or whatever dryer you have, then it's easy. Here's so this is online. So they're cheap. I just want to point out that um, these are a little different. This one will actually makes a different clicking sound than what this one does. I, you heard it earlier in the video. And these, this pointing up is pointing up. These are they're, they point up in different directions. On the back, see how it's pointing that way? On here, this, the pointer, points to where this flat area in the middle. See it? This, see this flat area right here? That's, it's pointing up. It's pointing, just, see, you see the flat area? Like a marker and it goes up. That's, the, that's where it points, it points to. Whereas, on the smaller one, uh, it points in a different direction. It's pointing up from, around it area right here up but I guess you can follow that hole that little trench right here like where my fingers at right there and then here it just it's kind of points in that direction so I guess in the back of it it goes by that trench because here's a big old that's skin, it's a skinnier trench but it, it's it's going that way and it's the flat area on this side so the arrows so when I put this one on here it's gonna be point. Sorry, it's gonna be pointing somewhere else. It's gonna be pointing out there, but it's really, it's just because they're different knobs. They're uh, built differently. This is the correct way that it's. It, this is like it's actually going that way because it's all based on this, and these are just manufactured differently. So when you order the part, make sure you. Uh, I mean, the part numbers on here. If this doesn't show up. Um, there's like a one size fits all. I don't know if it's one size fits all, but um, you know, maybe this maybe this needs uh, greased up and lubricated or something like that. Maybe it's getting too tough to for this little plastic knob to move. But if all else if all else fails, get a pair of pliers and manually turn that. I mean, this is life. So I mean, what works works. You know, you don't have to be fancy about it everything. You don't, have to, you don't have to be fancy about everything. I mean, you don't. Why you gotta be fancy? Um, so this is actually moving. This is actually moving when I go like that. So that's working. That's working. Listen to this one. They got different clicking sounds. And this one, they all sound a little... That one sounds like that one. That one's more higher pitch. And this one, I guess it has more grooves to go on. On, these, on the spindle. And then this one, 
it's got the weird it sound it has like a grinding sound like it's going to break or something it's an old dryer um i mean it's solid it's, it's pretty solid um outlet it, it's awesome and it dries the clothes so um just buy a four dollar four or five dollar knob and um put that on there if it doesn't work then you know you're out four or five dollars um that's just the way it is that's just how it works have a great day